Hey guys, welcome to another Guitar Vault video. Today we're really excited to be talking about the Cole Clark Angel 3 Series. Um, this guitar that we have over here is made of all camphor laurel and we're excited to dig into it. So, let's talk a little bit about Cole Clark as a company. Yeah, so Cole Clark is a company that we're really excited to be working with. Um, they do a lot of unique uh, things with their guitars. What they're really known for um, is using Spanish hill construction on the guitars and also just the woods that they're using. So they're, the woods that they use for the most part are sourced right in Australia. Mm -hmm. They're native to Australia. Um, they're really big on sustainable harvest and using things that they can readily get and that are responsible ecologically. Um, and for whatever reason, the woods that are, just have these really unique grain structures and are just beautiful. Um, so it kind of works out well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but it's not woods you're going to find from any other company, pretty much. So. It's true. They're also really known for their pickup system, which we're going to dig into in a minute, but they've got a really unique pickup system that's really, really cool. Um, but as far as Spanish hill construction goes, if you don't know what that is, it comes from the classical guitar world. It kind of is that traditional, is in the name, Spanish build style. And what they do is they actually start with the neck. So instead of typically builders would start with the body and then they attach the neck with either a bolt-on or dovetail construction. These guys start with the neck and everything else gets attached to that. So there's actually like little, it's kind of like a little U shape under the neck that the top and back attach to and then the sides get attached to that. It allows it to resonate more. Um, it's just really unique. Cole Clark is actually the only mainstream steel string guitar builder using this construction technique. Um, and it makes, it really does make a difference in the tone. Um, so that's cool. Um, and then as far as like the timbers they use, they do try to use mostly native Australian timbers um, or they go for sustainable things. In this case, camphor laurel is not a native Australian timber. It actually came over in the 1800s from Asia used in yards for gardening, making your home beautiful, whatever. But it's now become an invasive species. So that's how it's sustainable, is they're now taking this invasive species, using it to build guitars, it's helping to cut down on that um, population, and, and it's still something that they're harvesting right in Australia to help their native land. Um, yeah, and it's like beautiful. The grain structure is phenomenal. But um, the best part is This the smell. is a smell-o-vision guitar. <laughs> it so. smells so good. I've had so many people I'm just like, smell it, and they give me the weirdest looks, and then they smell it, and it's like, wait, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, so it's a, it's a different smell than cedar, but similar if you have a guitar that's a cedar, and you open the case, you get that immediate mm -hmm. whiff. Um, this is actually a stronger smell. Um, it's a stress relief, honestly. Like, there will be days down here that I'm like, I am so freaking stressed out, i got to go take a hit of that <laughs> guitar. <laughs> No, so the so camphor oil is yeah, actually exactly. used in a lot of therapeutic stuff. So yeah, it's awesome. Um, another thing related to the Spanish construction, so it's a Spanish heel, um, but they also are doing some other things that come from the Spanish guitar building mm -hmm. uh, tradition. Uh, the tops and backs are carved, um, and they use a totally different system to join the top and back to the sides uh, that doesn't require the thick kerfing. Um, and that is making the guitar resonate more as well. Mm -hmm. So um, the camphor has a really, really distinct tonal property. Yeah. Um, it's warm and expressive like a cedar or redwood, um, but it does have more punch. Yeah, but more on the highs, like a glassy high. Yeah, yeah, really good harmonic overtones. Um, it's a great guitar for finger style. It is, but it works really well for uh, Anything. picking and stuff. You can play hard on it. Uh, a lot of times on a cedar top guitar, you try to play hard on it, it won't respond, but camphor's kind of a good middle ground, so sounds really good. Um, another thing that's unique is the pickup system. Yep. So um, Cole Clark has, uh, has kind of attacked the uh, typical tradition of how to do uh, electronics and acoustic guitars with kind of a unique approach using multiple transducers. Now a lot of companies are mixing the piezoelectric bridge uh, film type transducer with some type of contact pickup or a microphone that's being done in a lot mm -hmm. of different ways. Um, the thing that Cole Clark has done differently is much the way you would in a, in a PA system where you use a crossover and you have different drivers that will produce different frequencies. They're kind of doing the same thing uh, with the pickups. So um, whereas everybody complains about the quack mm -hmm. that you get out of a 
out of a bridge transducer um, and not liking that, the way Cole Clark has gotten around that is to actually use that pickup for the low frequencies, which it's really good at producing, and then roll off the highs and use the other um, elements that are in there to handle the highs. So in the controls you can blend a microphone uh, with the bridge transducer and a contact pickup on the top and you can blend how you want those different pickups to interact and get the best you know sound that you can you also have an eq to control high mid and low as well but uh, blending the transducers in a specific way will give you the best uh, yeah. options for getting the sound that you'd like out of it it's a very natural sounding pickup it is very natural sounding um, and that's uh, the people who've purchased Cole Clarks from us, other than the wood, the wood is always the striking thing, like they just look phenomenal. Um, but they comment like a lot about the pickup system mm -hmm. and just how well it works for recording and for live performance. Um, and we've had a fair number of customers who are using them in like the worship market where they're using them in church and mm -hmm. in live PA pretty much several times a week and it's working really well. So, um, we'll talk about uh, some of the other woods in here. So the Next on these, um, on this guitar is Queensland's Maple, which is a, uh, obviously a maple that is native to Australia. It's actually not a maple. That's right, it's actually <laughs> technically not a maple. But they it's call in the it name, Queensland. but yeah. <laughs> yes, correct. Um, it looks very much like mahogany. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little harder than mahogany, but not quite as hard as maple. So, but it's called Queensland's Maple. Um, and then the fingerboard is she oak, which actually is a member of the oak family yeah. in genus, species, yes. whatever. Um, but <laughs> it's nice. very striking looking uh, compared to oak. It's got a lot of swirl and different grain pattern. Mm -hmm. um, this is river she oak, which is darker, um, very rich chocolate color. Um, which they've mm -hmm. used these nice abalone inlays to really offset that. The River She Oak sits somewhere between ebony and rosewood as far as like feel and sound goes, so it's going to be really nice. In the hardness. Yep. Um, so it won't, um, it works similar to, as far as woodworking, it works similar uh, to rosewood. Um, not quite as hard as ebony, but very much not splintery like some mm -hmm. of the ebonies. So yeah. um, it's a very good wood for this application. Yeah. So. And talk more about the abalone yeah. because they've done some cool stuff with it. Yeah, so when it is part of the 3 Series with Cole Clark, you would get a lot of abalone and it just looks amazing. So you've got nice abalone inlays here on the fretboard and then you also get an abalone rosette. And here on kind In of the, the waist. waist of the guitar, it's kind of like little mountains almost. I don't know. That's what it makes me think of. When you look at it this way, it looks like mountains. But we're from Utah, so we see mountains everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. At the door, there's mountains. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, see so those right there on the waist. You also get abalone inlaid on the um, bridge pins, which is cool. Um, and then this is done on the Angel is the grand auditorium body, so it's more of a small body. Great for um, finger style playing, but it does also work well for strumming. So let's take a listen to this guitar.
It smells so good. <laughs> okay, so in conclusion, this was the Code Clark Angel 3 uh, Grand Auditorium in Camp for Laurel. You can tell because we were smelling it. Um, and you just need to purchase it just so you can smell it. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> So we hope you like these Guitar Vault videos along with the rest of our content. Go ahead and follow us on social media on all the typical channels. Um, subscribe on YouTube and give us a like and we appreciate it. See ya!